let's talk a little about our beloved team legend. Welcome to the Chicago Blackhawks News Channel, it's a pleasure to have you here, subscribe to the channel to stay on top of everything that happens in our favorite team. Longtime Chicago Blackhawks captain Jonathan Taze returned from a two-month medical leave and played Saturday night, April 1, against the New Jersey Devils. Taze, 34, took the opening faceoff for Chicago as he appeared in a game for the first time since January 28 at Edmonton. He made a statement through the team on February 19 saying he would be stepping away because of the effects of chronic immune response syndrome and long COVID. After training on his own, Taze returned to the ice with teammates in a practice session on Tuesday. In a meeting with reporters after the skate, he hinted his stellar NHL career could be winding down after 15 years and stopped short of saying he planned to play in any of last place Chicago remaining games. Taze's eight-year, $84 million contract is set to expire at the end of the season. After practice Friday, Coach Luke Richardson said Taze was feeling stronger and might try to play Saturday against the fast-skating Devils, contending for first place in the Metropolitan Division. After Saturday morning skate, Taze confirmed he planned to play against New Jersey. Taze, the Blackhawks' first-round draft pick, third overall, in 2006, joined the team in 2007 and was a pillar of Stanley Cup championship clubs in 2010, 2013, and 2015. At the peak of his career, he was one of the NHL's top two-way centers, winning the Zelka Trophy as the league's top defensive forward in 2013. In 1,060 regular season games, Taze has 371 goals and 509 assists. In 139 playoff games, he's posted 45 goals and 74 assists, and he won the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP in 2010. So Blackhawks fans, happy with the return of Taze? Do you think he will retire at the end of the season? Put your opinion in the comments. This helps us get to know you better. Stay tuned because any minute now I'll be back with more Chicago Blackhawks news.